G'day and welcome to another Pokemon Go video. So that's straight into Go Battle League today. Um, so still running in the Ultra League, rank 8 and 2340. So 2340 is actually um, the highest I've been this season. Um, and I've had a few good matches, a few good sets um, the last couple. So I'll link to those now so you can check out those sets um, where I've gone 5-0, and 4-1. and one. Um, Really makes, 5-0 and o just makes a massive difference to your overall rating. Um, so absolutely uh, spectacular when that happens. So let's uh, jump in um, and see what we get. So again, Lapras, Swampert and Cresselia. Um, so going to be running the same team. Um, one of the big things is getting a consistent team to make sure that you can uh, swap out when you need to. Uh, you know how much energy and how much damage a charge move is going to do. Um, so you don't waste any energy on unnecessarily overkilling your opponent. So um, I've got a playlist that links all of my Season 2 Ultra League matches. I'll link that now so you can check that out if you want to see any of my other matches or my other teams. Um, so my teams only change very slightly um, to try and keep improving it. So let's uh, let's get in and, uh, and see what we get. So AK1G. Um, so obviously looking for a good lead, so I don't want Polyrath on the lead and I don't want Melmetal on the lead. Um, I really don't. They're the sort of main two. Charizard on the lead's not too bad. Uh, it's not ideal for me because obviously it's going to be doing neutral damage. So I'm really hoping that they switch out here um, because then I can match this up against the Swampert in the back. Uh, let's see what they do here. So I think what I'm probably going to do is... Let's see. So they're shielding up and they're staying in. So that's really interesting. Um, so I'm going to do the same. Shield this up. And uh, hopefully it's a Blast Burn. If it's a Dragon Claw, oh, that's brutal. Absolutely brutal. So probably did get to it a bit quicker than... Um, oh, and I've sw switched out now into Obstagoon. Um, so the fighting type here is not ideal. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is let the uh, Night Slash come through. Hmm. Just thinking what to do, what to do. Um, so I'm going to, I'm just going to stay in with this, you know. Um, I fully expect them to shield this up. Let's find out. Um, Oh, so no shield, okay. Um, so I should be able to... Ooh. Question is, what do I do? What do I do? So I really would have liked to win switch here, obviously. Oh, and I've clicked the wrong thing. I did not want to get the um, Cresselia in here. Um, so no shield here. I really didn't want this Cresselia. So I'm going to have to try and overcharge a little bit here. Um, so one, two, three, and then throw, because I obviously do not want to get hit by another Night Slash. Um, let's see whether they shield this up. They may They may do. Um, oh, wow, and they have. Um, oh, tried to switch out to catch that there. Um, so if they're shielding this so I'm gonna do the same actually so let's see what they do here so I'm fully sort of ex half expecting the switch out here um, so let's see what I get because obviously they can't go into so this is fine uh, night slash here is absolutely fine um, and then what are they switching to Ooh, so th oh so that is brutal absolutely brutal ouch so I really didn't want to make that switch as it turns out, um, but there's not really anything I can do here. So they're just going to fast move farm me down here. Ouch. And what I should have done is, can I get there? Yeah, so I can get to the next one. Um, so I'm going to come in with Cresselia and then instantly go for a... Um, instantly go for the Moonblast. So uh, with CMP tied, so this is the worst case scenario for me. Um, yeah, worst case scenario for me right here. Um, because obviously they're going to be doing that damage. And then, um, yeah, 
Ugh, so not ideal, really not ideal. Um, oh wow, and it didn't even take it out. Didn't even take it out. So that's that's GG's and that's my bad, bad play. So I should have swapped when the Obstagoon came in. Um, yeah, Obstagoon just messes me up. So I should have swapped to the Swampert then. Um, obviously weren't to know that there was going to be a... Venusaur in the back. So had it not been a Venusaur, um, would have been absolutely fine. Um, yeah, Venusaur is what you don't want to see in the back when you swap into a Swampert. Um, so really, really bad. But anyway, so this is not ideal. Um, so I am going to just swap straight into the Swampert here. Um, and then I will double shield. I expect them to get out of there, to be honest. Yeah, so... Um, Let's see what they do here. So they probably won't shield this up. Um, so what I'm going to need to do is, um, and I don't know, double hydro may have been better there. Um, so what I may need to do here is shield. Lots and lots of shields. Um, so, wow, they're not shielding at all. So I'm going to double shield this, I think. Um, because this is my only answer to that Reggie still. Oh, and they've gone the grass knot. So that's, uh, at least I know that now. Um, and they're going to grass knot again. So I will shield this up again. Um, and then force them into throwing more energy. So if I can waste this time. Um, so let's hope I can waste enough time uh, to swap out. Um, let's see. Um, and then obviously I'll swap into the Lapras here, um, which is not ideal either, to be honest. Um, they're going to come back in with their Registeel, which is fine. Um, but I'm just going to have to, oof, when it charges to its, um, yeah, yeah, this is not going to be good because it's going to Focus Blast me here and it's basically going to one-shot me. Um, it may very well one-shot me with the Focus Blast. Let's find out. No, so it doesn't quite one-shot, but that's fine. Um, so I think the better play there was probably bring my own Cresselia in um, because, uh, yeah, and they've got a shield, so that's not ideal. If I can get to another Surf, I'll be happy, which I can, so happy. Um, so that's going to be taking this uh, quite low. I think what they're going to try and do is um, get enough energy to throw against my Swampert when it comes in. Um, so I'm just thinking of what the play is. So they're just going to flash cannon there um, and then time me out. So I think the play here is to come in with the Cresselia there. Um, just because its moves aren't going to do as much damage. Um, so I will try and overcharge a little bit here myself. I assume this is 100% going to be the Flash Cannon. They may switch out here, so I'm just wary of that. Um, so let's just throw now. We don't want to overcharge too much. 100% um, no shield here, which is fine. Uh, let's see what comes out. Oh, wow. Okay, so they are shielding. Oh, and managed to get the debuff. So that's absolutely perfect. Um, so what I'm going to actually do here is switch this out. Um, and, oh... Is this going to be a grass knot? It's the moon blast. Absolutely fantastic. Um, so throwing the energy there. Um, so that swap out was ah, superb for me. Um, really like that one. And managed to swap out to, oh, so can I? So I'm going to be able to get to the hydro first. And it's going to have to hydro me down. If it doesn't, I'm going to get to another one. So um, let's see how we go here. Um, so I hope they over farm a little bit. And they didn't. So that's unfortunate. But I should be able to um, get to the... Mm. So they're going to try and get there first. And they've got there first. That's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 
so this is unfortunate um, because I would much much rather um, have a little bit of extra energy here um, and they may have uh, no so I think they will have still been switch locked in wow so they weren't um, and they've just timed me out there um, swapped in so they weren't switch locked which I thought they were which would have given me the win there so um, yeah, frustrating. I really hate timeout games um, because, yeah, it's just a cheap way to win, really. Um, I mean, it's a strategy if you've got no spine, I guess, but, um, yeah, it is what it is. And I don't really understand because extend the game by 30 seconds, I don't think there's been... There wouldn't be many games that I've been timed out for that would last more than an extra 30 seconds. Um, so I just don't understand the point of it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring in my own Cresselia here. Um, so I was a bit slow on the switch and I should have thrown that energy first. Um, so no shield required, so I was tapping away on my screen, so I almost threw up a shield when I wasn't supposed to. So this is now who gets the debuff. Um, so no debuff there for them, which is good for me. Um, let's see if I can get a debuff. Um, so this is going to be a game that we need to be careful of timing out again um, Just because this Cresselia match takes so long. Oh, that's perfect. So got the debuff there. So um, if they don't get a debuff here Then I'll be in a position that's Comfortable more more comfortable if they get a debuff here then we're we're neutral again. No, so no debuff So that works out perfectly for me. Um, so moon blast away and uh, we'll see how we go. So um, after complaining about the last game where I, uh, we, we lagged, well, we uh, timed out, we, I've put a mirror match of Cresselia in, um, which is the most tedious and boring match up. Um, let's see, so hopefully they don't get a debuff, so no debuff for them, so that's perfect. Um, so 30% chance of a debuff, so it should be really one in every three, um, which is a massive, massive amount, um, really. Uh, no debuff there, so they may, what will they do here? Um, so they're just going to straight in for the attack. Let's see what they do. Um, so this is not going to KO me. Um, and I'm really hoping they don't debuff me this time, which they didn't. Um, they may switch out here, will they? Will they? No. So no switch here. Um, and able to take the um, able to take the switch advantage. Oh, and they've shielded. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do the same. Um, I'll just do the same. I can get. I'm happy winning switch. Um, actually, what I probably should have done, to be completely honest, is um, uh, let uh, let them take me out, and then um, ah, nah, match shields. Why not? Uh, let's see what they do. Wow, they got another shield. Um, so this time, I'm gonna let it go. Um, they're double debuffed here, um, and they've got no shields whatsoever, so I'm just going to come out with Lapras and farm down. I'm really hoping they don't get to another Moonblast, which they haven't, um, and then I've got an extra shield, um, and now comes the Polyrath. Uh, so this is not ideal for me either, but I know they're going to switch here. Oh wow, so they're not switching. Interesting. Um, so I expect them to go for a dynamic punch, yeah, which they have. Um, oh, and they've caught it absolutely perfectly. Um, absolutely perfectly. So what I'm going to do here, that's a real bugger for me because that's real defensive right there. So, um, uh, yeah, so this could be, so this is game over now. Um, there's nothing I can do here. So this icy wind, so I probably should have shielded that up. Um, yeah, 100% should have shielded that up. Um, so now I need to get this icy wind off before they debuff me. Because if they can de if they debuff me, then I'm in even more trouble than I already am. Um, I'm just trying to, wow, so that does nothing to them. Um, no, and we see MP tied, no shield there. 
So the only, yeah, so this is game over. Um, does absolutely nothing, but, and we see MP tied, so that's perfect for them, absolutely perfect, just wasting all that energy. Um, so I shouldn't have uh, even charged up as much as I did and then gone for the farm down. Um, so what I need to do here is shield this up. And then I'm going to go for, let's see how long we've got left on this clock. Um, if I can get to timeout, and they've won because they had more health. So 100% should have thrown that um, surf. Another timeout loss. So that's just, ugh, to be completely honest with you, terrible match. And they switched out. I knew they were going to, and I still let it happen. So... Um, should have thrown double hydros on the Articuno, and then I could have possibly switched that match over. Um, so again, Mel Metal, horrible, horrible lead. Um, so this is all I can do, and then they're going to switch straight out themselves um, into the Dragon. Um, so what I'm going to do is charge up to the Earthquake and then throw a Surf and just hope for the best. Um, so because they initiated this match i don't think they're actually going to shield this um they're not um yeah so this is really bad um so i should have just gone straight up surf um the mel metal is really bad against my so what i'm going to do here again i'm going to charge up to the hydro so no surf uh, no charge up to the earthquake and i'm going to throw another hydro and hope i can get to another surf um another i uh, get to an actual earthquake um if they don't shield this one um interesting um and a big big play on their part oh wow so they've just schooled me absolutely schooled me there um so i'm going to shield this let's see what they do um yeah, so they're probably 100% going to be shielding this second one up here. Um, and because our timer just ran out, I probably should have switched instead of throwing this. Um, and yeah, but I mean, oh wow, okay, so no shield. And let's see what comes out. So out comes the fairy. So... I'm going to switch into the Lapras just because um, and they're going to have to start shielding at some point so I expect that point to be now. Um, let's find out. So yeah, uh, I'm just trying to think of what moves this has. So I think it has Dark, it has Crunch um, as its move. It could. I'm really hoping it doesn't have Dynamic Punch. It's got close combat. That's the other one I was hoping it didn't have. Um, and now they're just going to switch straight into the um, so this is not going to, it's going to be a rock slide. It's going to do not much damage to me, but um, yeah, it's really not ideal. Oh, and I didn't get to my moon blast before they got to rock slide. So they got to another rock slide. So um, I need to be careful here. Um, yeah, so should have shielded up against the Grumble there because obviously they're running close combat. Um, so it got the debuff there, so that's that's something at least. Um, uh, yeah, I think at this point this is GG's and I've had an absolute nightmare of a set. Um, so first three, not even close. Um, yeah, so the problem I have is that this is just going to, yeah, take me down. Um, and then they're going to fast move farm me down here. Um, just because the fast moves just do so much damage, so much damage. Um, and there's not really much I can do. Um, uh, I expect them to shield this. Yeah, and then just finish the farm down. I've um, got the debuff, but it's it's too little too late and didn't even spare shield. So 100% should have shielded against that Gramble. Um, and I thought that at the time, but uh, it is what it is, isn't it? So let's jump into the next one. Abysmal matches, and I'm really not looking forward to watching that rating drop down below. Probably 2300, I would suggest. Um, let's see how we go. So hopefully we can improve on... Well, I mean... We can't do any worse um, because we've lost every match. So, 
<laughs> let's hope there's a bit of improvement rather than more of the same. So, Bray, 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 Yarn. Um, and, and, and a match that is, so, uh, this, at least I now know there's a close combat in the play, in the mix. Um, so they do have, um, so the, the dark moves there. Um, so I will probably shield the first one up because what I think they'll do is, um, throw a shield themselves and, uh, throw a close combat themselves and then get out of there. Um, let's find out. Yeah, so it is the close combat. That's going to drop their defense, and then they're going to get out of there. Also, going back to back close combat. So I'm actually going to shield them both up, um, and then they're definitely 100%. They're out. Let's see what we've got. Um, so this is not ideal for me. Um, so... Yeah, really bad for me. Really bad for me. Um, two really good counters to my team. Um, I probably should have let that one go through. Um, let's find out. Uh, I, I fully expect to get the second shield here, and this do absolutely nothing. So waste the time. Should have thrown the hydro, because then possibly I could have got to a second hydro. Um, yeah, hundred percent waste of time. Um, yeah. So. This is this is this is really bad. Um, so the only thing I can really hope for, to be completely honest, is that, um, yeah. And so this is probably going to be what, what's the steel move um, that does neutral damage? So flash cannon, yeah, and just. Um, so what I'm going to do is switch into the Cresselia there, um, try and get a little bit of extra energy. Um, oh, and with CMP tied, um, just not having very good luck here. Um, switching a second late, I'm uh, going to flash cannon and that does a lot of damage and we got a CMP tie. Um, so yeah, that's... Yeah, not not good at all. Not good at all. So in comes the Gramble to, um, yeah, super effective there. Um, and they managed to get to their charge move first, which is going to be Crunch, I imagine. Um, and just brutal, absolutely brutal. Um, let's see. Uh, and in comes their own Cresselia. Ugh. Yeah, so it should have switched into the Cresselia right at the start um, against that Gramble. Um, let's get a Ice Beam off. Um, I actually had forgotten that I still had a Pokemon in the back. Um, yeah, so yeah. I mean, it can't get much worse than these games for me. Um, just had, uh, so 100% should have swapped to my, but then you don't know what they've got. Um, yeah, not even close. Um, and double shielding, is that naught and five? Um, so I get the humiliation of going into battle number six here. Um, let's hope I get something that's not quite so bad. Um, yeah, so I don't really understand the difference between getting matched up. So this is, I'm hoping it's dark type moves and not it's, um, but the problem is going to be, yeah, so it is dark type and I will have to shield this. Um, so I am going to shield here. So let's see what they do. So I'm going to charge to my ice beam. So it is a leaf blade. So fine. Um, so they will shield, uh, everyone shields a shift tree every single move um so yeah and there's the shield um so i'm gonna double up on the shield actually because then this is forcing uh, forcing them to so i know i've gone down to shields here which is not ideal um so let's see if they shield here oh so they may 
Ugh, they may or may not. I mean, they they are the two options, aren't they? Um, so they've got a two shield advantage here, um, and so out comes the. Wow. Okay. Um, so let's see if. Oh wait, a one shield advantage. One shield advantage. Um, so I expect them to. Oh, so they've played that beautifully. So what to do, what to do. So I think I'm gonna go for, so this will take it very, very close here, the Frenzy Plant. Oh wow, and by very, very close, I mean it KOs. Uh, not, not even remotely close. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do here is save up for the, so if they switch this out, I instantly switch as well. Um, so I'm going to go for a Moonblast just because um, I don't know whether I'll get a shield or not. Let's let's find out. I don't think I will. Oh, I did. Okay. Um, so no shield. I really, really, really want to take this out. Um, I don't know what's in the back. And so hopefully they can't be running three grass, surely. Um, uh, let's find out. And I can get there first, thankfully. Um, hopefully this will take it out. So this will be resisted because of the poison typing. Um, but I think it should be enough to, yeah, so definitely still enough to take it out. And then out comes, um, oh, and so I should have just switched this straight out. So the charm damage is going to be immense, but I should be able to, um, get it uh, with the hydros here. That should be enough to take this out. So double grass and then a charmer in the back. And so I think, I think this is a, um, a line from a YouTuber, um, if I remember correctly. Um, but to be honest, uh, I don't know. So that uh, should be Good game and one and f one win, five losses. Absolutely brutal. Um, I'm going to be well below the the yeah that's yeah well below 2300. I reckon I'll probably go to 22, maybe 2280. Hmm, 2294. Okay, so not quite as bad as I thought it was going going to be um but just absolutely brutal games a few games i made poor decisions on and they just had absolutely amazing counters in the back for me so one game oh who who keeps a venusaur for the back really um just ridiculous so really really bad set for me there um but as just happens to everybody um, and learn from it. So I watch those games back and see how I could have improved. Um, again, the difficulty is when you lose lead um, and lose lead hard, uh, if you then get the counter in the back that's just, you switch in, they switch in a perfect counter, it just doesn't, doesn't help at all. Uh, with this team, it's very obviously meta relevant and if you, well, it is meta, um, if you, well, what's in the back is meta. If you lose the lead, you switch into Cresselia or Swamp It, and most teams have a counter for those because they're very, very common. So that's the problem with losing lead. So you really need to either get a neutral lead or ideally, like everyone wants, to win the lead. So neutral lead is fine, um, but being forced to swap out is just dangerous because everyone has counters for... Um, Cresselia and usually Swamp It to be on a summer form of counter um, so I mean it is what it is horrible horrible set but hopefully it was useful to see not what not to do and see how bad things can go so thanks very much for watching see you in the next one bye for now